This happened today here in Orchards. Our neighbors out there by the highway, McFarland's Bark, had a little issue. Last week we had a little problem with them. Their deb yard debris pile was out of hand and way over the 30 foot that was their permit. And it also wasn't on the concrete slab like it was supposed to be. So we had contacted code enforcement. Well, looks like code enforcement really didn't care because they passed the book. Said it really wasn't their problem. They weren't interested. So here you see our resources. Fire department sitting here pouring water on. You can see McFarland's people with their equipment and the smoke there trying to dig, trying to get to the source of the fire, which definitely appears to be spontaneous combustion. This pile was out of control, hadn't been managed properly, and sadly this isn't the first time this has happened. We have a lot of problem with these neighbors because they don't control the composting, the smell, the yard debris, everything starts to compost and starts to stink and you have to leave your windows open at, or closed at night, I should say. And, you know, kind of ruins barbecue on the back porch when it stinks like that. Now we're going to get to smell the smoke for a few days because, generally speaking, these take a few days to get put out. Pretty sad. Wonder what the angle is with code enforcement. Do they just don't care? Are they understaffed? Or have they been bought off? Because we don't see any responses when we complain about this. And we're not the only ones. You know, a good neighbor would try a little bit harder to control the process. I mean, we could put up with a little bit, but, you know, when it's out of control, it's out of control and there's no excuse for it. They've got permits just like everybody else. They should have to operate within the confines of the permit. You tell me. What do you think? How much you suppose it's costing us to have that fire truck sitting there pouring water on? How much you suppose that water value is? You know, I know putting water on my lawn costs me a fortune. Sorry, sorry, state of affairs there. I know they could do better if they just tried. And for those of you that know about drone operations, I did check on NOTAMs. There were no restrictions, no NOTAMs published here. No emergency responders that had a lock on the airspace or anything. Visual line of sight was observed. And... I don't think I ever got over 150 feet here during the whole video. So 400 is our ceiling. Thank you. Take care.